The situation in Burundi used to be different because most of these independent radio stations that were closed in May 2015 were radio that were established with the support of the international community. And they were established with the name of um, contributing to peace building, reconciliation. So there was a real pluralism inside of those media. They would um, employ uh, Hutu and Tutsi journalists and they would uh, devote a lot of broadcasting time to programs about uh, peace building, uh, about reconciliation. They are now targeting international media broadcasters because, of course, they come with uh, greater credibility. Uh, and, of course, these countries, whatever they do, both Burundi and DRC, they need money uh, to run the economies, and they want to come back to their funders, including the EU, uh, for, for, for the kind of assistance they get. So there is a, a dichotomy, if you like. On one hand, they don't want people to know what is going on in the country, and on the other hand, they want help or support uh, so to speak, allegedly for running the affairs in their countries.